President Joe Biden praised 26-year-old Brandon Say, of San Marino, as an American hero on Tuesday night, February 7, during his State of the Union speech, in which he hailed the Alhambra Dance Studio operator's action to thwart a gunman's January 21 rampage as a symbol of sacrifice while condemning the G. He saved lives. It's time we do the same as well. Ban assault weapons now. Ban them now, once and for all. Say was helping to run the Lai Lai Ballroom and Studio in Alhambra on the night of January 21 when a man walked in carrying a Mac 11 semi-automatic pistol. Say stopped him, wrestled the gun away from him and kicked out the man, who had only minutes earlier opened fire inside of Monterey Park's Star Ballroom Dance Studio. It turned a weekend of Lunar New Year celebration and a night of dancing into yet another massacre in America. Ultimately, Say would be credited with preventing a second attack at the Alhambra Dance Studio. At the mention of his name by Biden, Say stood to wave and nod to a chorus of applause from a standing joint session of Congress, including the President's Cabinet and the U.S. Supreme Court. He sat in the First Lady Jill Biden's viewing box along with other esteemed guests. On his right were the parents of Tyra Nichols, a black man who died last month after a brutal beating by police in Memphis, Tennessee. And on his left was the band U2's lead singer Bono, known for his humanitarian work in the fight against HIV AIDS and extreme poverty. Other guests, among others, joining Say in the box included Lynette Bonar, of the Navajo Nation, who initiated the first cancer center open on a Native American reservation, LGBTQIA plus activists Gina and Heidi Norton Smith and others whose stories weave into a tapestry of American tenacity and progr. Say was not the only distinguished guest from the San Gabriel Valley attending the speech. Locals and leaders, including Monterey Park Council member Henry Lowe and Julie Fun, the niece of 67-year-old star dance shooting victim Moi Da Ung, among others, were invited by the White House because they personify issues or themes to be addressed by Biden in his speech or embody the Biden heart. But since the week after the Monterey Park shooting, Say has emerged as a symbol of selflessness and a hero in a shaken community, known as among the quietest and friendliest in the region, where immigrants, many Asian, have settled. Leaders from law enforcement to Monterey Park, and from the State House to the White House have celebrated Say, who himself has described the aftermath as surreal.